Hi, my name is Savannah Costa, and I want to talk to you today about EVP, Electromagnetic Voice Phenomenon. I have been in touch with spirits for around 21 years, and I've been able to hear their thoughts. Um, just recently, I decided that I would try doing it with um, a recorder to see if I could capture spirit voices, and I have had great success with that. Um, I actually uh, spoke to someone who told me what type of recorder to get, and the best recorders to get for that are the Olympus brand recorders. Now, I will tell you, with that being said, um, there are a few Olympus brand recorders that are a little less expensive that do not have um, the capability of hooking up to your computer with a USB port. Stay away from those, because if you get those, you can't get the sound off onto your computer. And that is kind of defeating the purpose for what you want to do anyway, because you want to save these. And then you can run them through programs such as Audacity in order to pull the sound out and, and figure it all out. But the one good thing about most of the EVPs that we have caught is that we can hear them without having to run them through Audacity. Now they are slight whispers, and um, so they're going to be lower than if I'm talking to you now. But you can definitely hear them, and they are so excited to communicate. Um, the good thing about spirit is um, if they know that you want to communicate with them, they're, they're going to try to show you that they're there. So that's the good thing about them. Now, I will say that there are other ways that they have communicated with me. Um, one of those ways being um, they will use all types of noises, pops, claps, whistles, whispers, anything that they can do to get your attention. So lots of times when you think you thought you heard something but you just weren't sure, that probably was spirit. Um, they are very subtle in their actions and that can make you think that you just thought you heard something and you didn't. Um, we do a lot of our EVPs at the cemetery. There's an old cemetery here near where I live and we do a lot of our work there and we feel very fond of that cemetery. There is actually um, couple people out there who have made their presence known, um, have given us their names. Um, we're very fond of that place and it's very sacred to us. Um, they're, they're not here in any way to cause harm. I know lots of people associate that with scary stuff and ghosts and spooky goblins, but um, spirits are very subtle in how they communicate. They're not going to jump out at you and be like, oh, I'm here. Ooh, scary. Uh, they don't want to do that. They, um, they're they very subtle in how they approach you, and they don't want to scare you because the last thing they want to do is scare you because then they won't be able to communicate with you anymore. So um, if you just open yourself up to it, um, that is one way that you can communicate. But the EVPs, um, if you'll just get yourself an Olympus recorder, one with a USB port so that you can transfer the files to your computer. And then all you need to do is step out and find a place that you feel connected to or that, you know, it may be older. There may have been people that have passed away that may have used to live in that area. Um, anywhere that's, I would say, peaceful. I would, um, you know, there, there, I haven't encountered anything evil. But I will say that I would stick away from place, stay away from places that may have that. Um, you don't want to be around that negativity. Um, but positive places. Um, we go to places where people have been buried and that is one place that they do seem to come back to. Um, also their homes where they were before their passing um, is another place that they will tend to come back to. So if you want to hear them then just get your reporter out and let them know ahead of time that you know a few minutes before you start recording that you are going to be recording and that you do have a device that will capture their voice. And, you know, because some of these people live long ago, they, they won't realize that that's what that can do. So you're going to have to explain it to them. It would be kind of like going back in time as in Back to the Future. And he had, you know, he had things that nobody else knew why he had them. So it's kind of like the same concept. So um, with them, you have to explain to them what you have and what it does and how it works. And then they will do everything they can to make their presence known to you. And we've had good success with that. Um, some really beautiful stories from that. Um, so anyway, yeah, you can definitely capture their voices. They uh, do want to hear you. They do want you to hear them. Um, 
but I have been fortunate enough to be able to hear some of them without the reporter. But it does make it a lot easier with the reporter. Um, I do sense their thoughts and I do pick up on emotions very easily. But the um, EVP um, has definitely been a, a very big sparking interest for me lately. And um, I do think that's mainly just because it is um, so phenomenal to be able to hear their voices um, past that little whisper that I hear or past those pops and claps or anything they do to get my attention through thought. Um, the EVP is just an absolute awesome way to communicate with spirit. And so I just want to make sure that I put that out there for um, anyone who's interested in doing that. Um, we have been working on it for months now and we're really enjoying it. Um, I wish you all good luck if that's the way you plan to go to communicate with spirit. I do think you'll have great success with it. If you don't get it right away, don't give up. Um, just keep trying. And also try some meditation to allow you to get closer to spirit because that really does help. Um, I'm willing to answer questions or anything like that. Um, you can email me at empathictarotreadings at yahoo.com or you can visit my website empathictarotreadings.com. Thank you and have a good day.